So we're taking a look at dedicated host instances, which is our most expensive option with EC2 pricing models. Um, and it's designed to meet regulatory requirements when you have strict server bound licensing that won't support multi-tenancy or cloud deployments. So to really understand dedicated hosts, we need to understand multi-tenant versus single tenant. So whenever you launch an EC2 instance um, and it's using on-demand or, or any of the other types beside dedicated hosts, it's multi-tenant, meaning uh, you are sharing the same hardware as other um, AWS uh, customers. And the only separation between you and other customers is through virtualized isolation, which is software, okay? Then you have single tenant, and this is when a single customer has dedicated hardware. And so customers are separated through physical isolation, all right? And so to just compare these two, I think of multi-tenant as like everyone uh, living in an apartment and single tenant is everyone living in a house, all right? So you know, why would we want to have our own dedicated hardware? Well, large enterprises and organizations may have security concerns or obligations about sharing the same hardware with other AWS customers. So it really just boils down to that. Um, with um, dedicated hosts, um, it comes in an on-demand flavor and a reserved flavor, okay? So you can save up to 70%, but overall dedicated hosts is way more expensive uh, than our other EC2 pricing options.